Hello, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? Welcome to March 9th. Reading for each zodiac sign, starting from Aries, going to the Pisces. So here we are. Daily energy with three cards. And Aries, welcome. Let's see what that energy is there for yourself. The first card we have Judgment, the next one we have Ten of Cups, and Death. Alright loves, look at here, quite a huge energy, but at the same time, changeable. Many of you, you hold your own happiness and it's here. But I feel here, there's something here you need to change or need to see differently. How is your happiness? The judgment very much speaks that there's an awakening call out there telling you that you are in the place where you've never been before. And whatever you thought is happy, look around you and you'll see quite clearly whatever it is. So remember loves, for some Aries, you are about to meet your partner or your twin flame and your life is about to change. Big, big times. And I will say Aries, life is a gift. And this gift, many might want to have it. And you have it. Enjoy it. Taurus, time for you, loves. Welcome. Let's see how is your energy right there. The first card that we have for you, Moon. The next one we have the Five of Swords. And... Page of Pentacles. All right, loves. I feel here for some of you Tauruses. It's kind of what you've been afraid. That's what you get. Don't be afraid of anything. If there is somebody out there that doesn't wish you well or is not with best intentions or they try to take something from you, don't be afraid of them. Quite the opposite. Conquer them. Whoever here tries whatever it is, when you are in your true power, when you are in your strength, they can't deliver you. They can put you down. So don't be afraid. Yes, your intuition is right. I'm hearing here for some of you, it's like, I knew this person does this, or I knew this person said this. Yes, you're right. But that's not mean that you need to react somehow differently than you used to. Do you and make your best and put your energy where it works for you and not for them. Probably someone here try something, but I feel here they they can't put you down, whatever it is they. And pay attention, loves. Sometimes is better to look forward to the signs that are on the way to you instead of ignoring them. Okay, loves. Now, Gemini's welcome. Time for you. Let's see what we got for you. The Light Seer's title for you. Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, and King of Swords. All right, loves. You, Gemini, moved away from a person or from a situation which were only drama and very emotionally unfulfilling. For some of you Geminis, if you walk away, you want yourself. For others of you, if you are feeling good around someone, you both 
walk away from a situation which were very uncomfortable. You know, sometimes we deal with certain stuff. It's not just you, but could be someone else too next to you. You both, if you going hand in hand, you both walking forward. Eight of Cups very much speaks for some of you. If you are Gemini and you are coupled with someone, water or fire, you have been through a couple great months out there struggling. Probably struggling emotionally. For some of you, you struggle to be understood. Well, I will tell you this, Gemini, and for each and everyone who listens, who needs to understand is you and the universe. Yes, the, the peers, the souls which are come in con contact with us, they don't need to understand us. If they do, that is a bonus. But they need to be there as you for them, as they are for you. And when you are really, really connecting, then is self-understanding. You don't need to explain someone how they need to get you if they don't. I hope someone here can understand what I'm trying to do and say here. Because honestly, sometimes I get certain messages delivered and... You know, many of you watch these videos a couple times. I do as well. And sometimes it's just kind of like, for me, I get it. I understand it. But sometimes it's just kind of like, yeah, but how about the one who is watching? So if you do understand, let me know. Cancerians, I welcome all of you here. Let's see your energy. As per today, Hermit, Ten of Cups, and Three of Cups. All right, my Cancerians needs to go a little bit out in the world or basically in the nature. It's a great day for some of you just to go out. Don't stay alone. This day, you don't need to stay alone. Because I'm feeling here for many of you, you are struggling and you just need to go out, vent it out to the universe, vent it out to the, to the nature. I feel here there is a big ball of happy energy, but you being by yourself closed off inside, you don't see it. So look at here. This is right here. This is you and this is you. This is you alone. This is you in the nature. Go meet a friend. Go see a friend. For some of you, you actually doing that. If someone here asks you, hey, let's grab a drink. Let's have a tea. Let's have a coffee. Go ahead. Don't stay, well, do I want this? Do I don't need this? Sometimes just going with no thoughts, zero expectations you might found a very recreational energy. So that is kind of like a, a refresh. So many, many Cancerians, today is not the day you to stay there because I'm feeling here there's a, there's a drop of happiness on the way to you and you just staying closed, you might not seeing it because sometimes, you know, certain things coming differently than we probably expecting it. Leos, I welcome you here. Thank you for coming in. Let's see loves. Leos, we have for you the first card of the world. The second one we have nine of cups and king of pentacles. Alright loves, to the next level. For some of you, Leos, I will congratulate you for the new job or for acquiring a new position or a bigger position. For others of you, there is some travel towards a place where you feel grounded, where you feel like yourself, where you feel on earth, like you feel like, you know, it's kind of like you feel you. So if you are Leo who end something is because you want to 
or if you are Leo who ends something and tries to move forward, you are getting the yellows. All what you need to do is to have your joy, you have your will, have your groundness, your boundaries, and never stop. Because I feel here there's something here you want and you are about to get it. Keep, keep, and again, keep doing it. You can do it and quite beautifully loves. And Virgos, I welcome you loves. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see, how is your energy as today? The first card we have six of pentacles. The next one, seven of pentacles and nine of cups. All right, loves. There's a Virgo here who feels like I I gotta wait till things are getting better, till things are getting stabilized or getting way more, you know, in balance. Whatsoever you waiting for this, you might miss a great opportunity that it's slipping off. So instead of waiting, because many, many of you asking me how I do the things and I manifest and works for me, well, I do never wait for the things. If something here puts me to wait, I will say this way, universe, spirits, and I call my spirits uh, in and ask them how I can help so I can't wait, but instead of working so the things could come to me, how I can turn around and see through, how I can go through the guidance to the place where I need. So Virgo, I feel here there's something here for you. Don't wait for whatever to get better or for a situation to get better because there is another coming in. It's kind of like don't miss the point. And also for some Virgos here, see the bigger picture. If you've been waiting for a situation to yourself or if you've been waiting for a person, for that person to offer you whatever it is, let it go, loves. Because you might have a great opportunity miss, and you might miss it just because waiting for someone who is not available. Keep in mind that. The wait is over for you, Virgo. Keep doing the things or keep moving towards the things what are there for you. Because I will tell you that there is not like here. I hope you understand this meaning. Libra. Time for you, loves. Welcome. And let's see how is your day going out there. The first card for you, we have Eight of Cups. The next one, we have Page of Wands. And we have King of Cups. All right, my Libras. Somebody here is leaving a situation coming forward. They will message you. They will want to see you. And actually expect for... Um, how you call that one? Not the dedication, but when people tell their feelings. Not the compromise. It's not coming the right word. It's it's so wow. A confession. That's the word. So whomever is this person, a Virgo or a fire sign or a water sign, Piscean, fiery or Virgo energy, this person is searching you. If you block them, probably it's the time for you to unblock them because I feel here you might see a message. So Libra, for some of you good news, for some of you, you might not know what to, to think of. For others of you Libras, you are the one who leaves the situation. And you are the one who, it's kind of like I start feeling better just getting out. And for some of you, you just communicate with someone and telling them how much better you are feeling. So still a very good energy. It's not that, hey, I'm walking away because it was not fulfilled. But indeed here, emotionally, you are not where you want to be, whatever was. Scorpios, time for you loves, welcome, 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see. March 9th. Quiet a day. Hangman for you. The first card. Three of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever energy you are, Scorpios, whatever situation you feel that you and I belong and you hope for the best, that's changing. So if you were felt stuck in a situation for, let's say, more than a year, for some of you, it's more than two years, these three weeks, as we move forward, <clears throat> let's start from today even, moving forward, it's kind of more likely by the end of this month, going forward in the month of April, which is the month of Aries, Aries rule by Mars, which is the planet of masculinity, movement is happening. And voila, we have the wheel of fortune. It's like the luck comes in your street, on your door. So it's something here you asked here, it's coming. For some of you Scorpios, you did manifest something. It's still on pending. Whatever you manifest, it's coming and will move. But for some reason, there was something here like not yet. Could be not the right time or could be even a test because, you know, we in this life, we have so many tests to pass through. So we can go to the place where we need to. My darling Sagittarians, welcome. Let's see here, loves, what is there for you. All right. The first card for you, Sagis, we have Ace of Swords. The next one, we have Six of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. All right, loves, there's something here you need to come clean, crystal clean or crystal clear about the situation which doesn't feel quite balanced. What do you truly want? You know clearly what's going on. And also for some of you, there is um, an energy that tells you, you clearly know what you're looking for. Are you doing something about it? And I don't want to get anyone upset here, but I will say whatever I'm saying. For some of you, you do know that the person you are dealing might be dealing with others or might talk or might engage with others. And for some of you Sagis, yes, many of you might critique me right now, but Nine of Cups very much speaks like, I'm comfortable in the situation where I am, or I'm perfectly fine where I am. So this is the honest truth, or this is what you want to say to others. And also there is a Sag here who clearly indulge. Either you spend too much, either you... It's kind of like financially pay attention to your pockets. Make sure you not spend more than you earn because clearly you know the consequences. So there's something here you, Sagis, need to pay attention, whatever it's out there. Whew. It's quite a strong energy for the Sagis, but now we're moving to the Capricorns. Welcome, loves. Let's see your energy. The first card for my Capricorns, we have four of pentacles. The next one, we have nine of pentacles and six of swords. Okay, so Capricorns, you are single Capricorns right here. And it's telling me here, you are done with the situation. You are not anymore into a situation. Yet, you do have some sort of disappointment. Although, there's a Capricorn who feels like, you know, this situation will not gonna move. I'm better off myself. And I need to keep moving to find what is mine. 
very straightforward message and I feel here the Capricorn knows their options at this time so whatever here doesn't move you just turn your head towards the movement and I feel here if you are into a situation for quite a long time if is a job a situation even a relationship for four years and does not move within days you are on the go because I feel here you 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 came into a, a place in your life that you feel like you know I I am here but I'm not here I hope you loves understand me Aquarians I welcome you loves welcome let's see what do we got for my lovely Aquarians the first card for you six of swords the next one we have page of Pentacles and Queen of Cups all right movement and I feel here there's an Aquarius here who tries to offer something for a water sign or vice versa flip the energy whatever here is offered with whom is offered it's stable but it's a small energy probably it's at the beginning probably I'm offering you what whatever I have and I feel here there is allowance. Also, I see here a, a, an Aquarius who is going back home. And it's kind of like the whoever welcomes home allows them over there. It's kind of like, okay, I'm allowing you to be here. Or I want you to be here. For some Aquarius, you, you are moving towards either earth either water but it's more likely a water energy going towards that person really cares for some of you if you are living a situation and you asking a friend to stay around or to stay a few a few days a few weeks whatever they are will allowing so whatever you're going whatever you are moving towards it's kind of like come we'll figure out from here now or come forward from now on you are not alone it's a very soothing it's a very like I got you energy and Pisces welcome loves let's see your energy and I save the big cards for you okay so we got for you the four of wands and I believe they are all in reverse no emperor and the lovers so for some reason the four of wands came up in reverse so something here doesn't come yet because somebody here needs to make a decision with the emperor and the lovers indeed here somebody here is choosing either to come forward or not and four of wands came in reverse so might be someone here choosing to not reunite with someone or to go back to a situation when they've been home so four of wands sometimes is a marriage energy sometimes is a home energy and many other times is a twin flame energy so came in reverse very much speaks let's take one more card for you by seeing as this came in reverse okay so prince of swords so something here is like i'm not interested anymore in something so yeah the cards have been in reverse but for some reason i don't know why so indeed here whatever it's there somebody here choose something else it's kind of I know I gotta move forward and also let me see here loves for Pisces especially for Pisces since this were so confusing I will do one more message 
why that car that, that deck was so ace of rods ace of wands full and two of swords there's something new indeed here somebody here choose a new path but it's closing the other one so Pisces whatever is there the fool it's here it's kind of I take a leap of faith and I'm not gonna look backwards okay but make sure you are not closing your heart completely so you will not fall back and forth back and forth with other energy loves okay so keep in mind that thing and speaking of let's do a oracle for the collective i have this is the wisdom of the oracle card what do we have here loves let's see chaos and conflict loyal heart milk and honey treasure island and underneath we have soulmates all right there's a period of your time loves collective which been chaos and conflicted it's a way i feel here there's a person here who helps you to go where you need to or where you want to and that because you've been working with the law of attraction the treasure island card very much speaks that you've been working hard to cleanse to clean to remove the old energies and for some of you yes this chaos and conflict energy where because many people they don't do the cleanse they end things they don't heal them they just live as they are they move to the next level or to the next person and so on but there is that gap that energy and when you leave one two three ten there's a big accumulation like a volcano and then erupt so for some of you with the treasure island you've been manifesting you've been working through the things so the things to start getting better so here we are loves getting over some struggles moving towards something new which is good and i feel here now you can see your fruits how they are that they coming in reality soulmates very much speaks that you got the key in your hands to get where you need to go ahead loves chapel would carry water work one thing at a time observer keep an eye on the things and no place like home absolutely nothing feels better than feeling like yourself and honestly you know that how i feel i always will say it no matter what and some of you really will enjoy it some of you will not and that's okay not everyone will accept and as i always say not everyone will feel in my vibration because whoever is around my vibration around the spirit vibration they will be around this who are not they are seeking their vibration so we are all an uh, energy that we are seeking our you know the um, our own vibration our own you know the drive energy so thank you for coming loves and i will see you tomorrow namaste